guys, we're going to do some more derivatives here. This one is going to involve a mixture of the chain rule mixed with the product rule. So these problems tend to get very big, expanded. Uh, so I just want to show you step by step how to stick with the process of knowing that chain rule, knowing that product rule, and knowing what to do when. That is the biggest thing is just keeping your thoughts organized as you're walking through this, okay? So let's take a look at this example and see how it's gonna work out. Okay, so this function says uh, we have two things multiplied together, okay? So that should be a tip off that two things multiplied together is a product. So that is a product rule. Now, the way I approach the product rule, I usually divide out my the two things and this is the first thing this is the second thing that's how the product rule goes in my mind in terms of first thing second thing okay now what's going to happen though is let's just go ahead and plug away and we'll see how this um, incorporates the chain rule within the product rule so if we start out with y prime now the product rule says derivative of the first times keep the second, right? That's what, that's what we start with though. The derivative of the first times keep the second. So we're gonna start with that, but notice the derivative of the first requires a chain rule because we have layers. We have an inside expression raised to an outside power. So inside and outside, that's my cue that that's a chain rule, okay? So the chain rule, we always work from the outside in. So I'm just looking at the first, taking the derivative of the first, using the chain rule means the four comes down in front, the inside stays exactly the same, x cubed plus two x, the power becomes a three, and then the chain rule says we link on, or we multiply by, the derivative of that inside. So the derivative of this inside is 3x squared plus 2. So this whole thing is just the derivative of the first, right? So back to the product rule, we say derivative, derivative of the first times keep the second. So I'm just going to keep the second as is, 5x squared plus 6 to the fifth power. Now we're, we're about halfway done because we still have to say with the product rule, we say plus, this time we keep the first. So first stays exactly the same. So that's keep the first times the derivative of the second this time. Now the derivative of the second thing also requires a chain rule because we have an inside expression and outside power, so that's a chain rule. Derivative of the second is going to look like this. The five comes down in front. The inside stays exactly the same. Five x squared plus six raised to will now be the fourth power, then we link on the derivative of that inside that we just wrote. The derivative of that inside will be 10x. Okay, so this is, this is a version of the derivative of this function, okay? So show this on a quiz or a test, if you get partial credit in your class and you should get at least a couple points just for showing this, all right? Now from here on out, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in this video on, on the next few steps, but it will be simplifying if they want you to simplify, plugging a number in for X if they want you to do that, all those other things that you do with a derivative. You find the slope of a tangent line or you can find the equation of a tangent line at a given point. I just wanted to show you the mess that occurs when they ask you to do a chain rule mixed with a product rule. Don't let it overwhelm you. Just go through the process very carefully, step by step. Talk yourself through it. The product rule again, derivative of the first, which is right here, 
keep the second, plus keep the first, derivative of the second. And when we took this and this derivative, we had to employ the chain rule. So that's how they mix together. Um, take your time, be very careful. It's very doable. You just have to talk yourself through it pretty slowly. So hopefully that helps. Keep coming back and we'll just keep on doing more of these practice problems. Thanks.